talking right now with the Audubon Boys 4x400 relay team that uh, wins their district meet here tonight and qualifies for state. We'll start off with Trevor Smith, who told me earlier during the 4x100 you got out of the blocks pretty well in all four races here tonight, and that includes here in the 4x4. Where did this one rank as far as getting out of the blocks? Oh, I mean, 400 getting out, it's not, you know, as big of a deal, you know, but still want to get off to a quick start, so... I'd rank it right there behind the hundreds, you know, those are really quick out, and this one I know, 400, you just get out and go as hard as you can until you die, so I feel like I came out pretty good. Is that was your strategy tonight, get out and run as hard as you could through it, through as much of the 400 as you could? Yeah, I mean, 4x4, four four, I knew I just ran the 4x1, so I was like, get out, go, I know the last 100 are going to be feeling it a little bit, but get it into Jake and go get a district title and move on to state. That was the goal when we were running this tonight, so I just pushed through right at the end and got it to him. How do you keep your energy up after running the 4x100? You're, you're in the very next event in the 4x400. Yeah, I mean, tonight, adrenaline was flowing a little bit, I think, after we won that. We were just kind of pumped up, you know, so I didn't want to waste it all, so I tried to conserve it a little bit, but I think adrenaline here helps, especially big, big district meet, you know, and then just knowing you got to push through, you just got to see who's I think, you know, one of the mentally, we got to be mentally tough. We want to push through it all. You know, if we get this race, we're going on to state. So that was the goal. Good handoff with Jake tonight. Yeah. I mean, he took off. I didn't want him to take off too hard. You know, we've just been doing it all year. So there's nothing new, consistent like always, and got it to him and let him go. How much has that helped being consistent, running with the same guys and doing the same handoffs all year? Oh, yeah, it helps big time. You know, every single meet we've been out there running. And so Jake knows kind of how hard I finish. I think that's the big thing, you know knowing how hard everyone's running at the end of a 400. Cause it's not the same when you simulate that in practice. When you come out here in a meet, you know, you're dying maybe a little bit. Everyone's got a different closing speed, so it certainly helps. Well, Trevor, appreciate you joining us. Congratulations. See you down at State. Thank you. Let's move on now to Jake Mulford, who ran the second leg here tonight. And Jake, like Trevor, you had just run the 4x100. In fact, you ran the anchor leg on that. How did you feel coming into the 4x400? <laughs> you know, I did it. We did the week four. I don't know what it was. I think... I was a little tired the last time. I ran like a 56-something. But coming in to this one after the 4x1, like he said, that adrenaline's going. You know, it, it's, it's a drive. You know, you want to win districts, and we had a shot to do it. And this was the race that we could finish at the top with. And, you know, you just got it out. It's pretty much you just, like, go hard as far as you can, as long as you can, get to the next guy so he can start start fresh. How do you, how long did you feel like you were pretty strong in that 400? You know, I, I felt like it was a good 400 because, I mean, that, that kid was in front of me, but... You know, there's no strategy to run a 400. You just got to go, go, go. And then once you, you know, it's like last year I ran it, you know. I was a little different running it last year, but now I just push and push and through. I got faster, got bigger, got stronger, and I think it helped a lot, definitely. Where do you think it's benefited you the most? Endurance, you know, just be, being able to gut it out, pushing, pushing through that, that, that hurt, pain. You know, this is a race where, you know, you got to be physically fit, and you got to be able to gut it out, otherwise, you know, it's you're going to get to the 200 mark and you're going to be gone. Well, I mean, like I did tonight, that, that kid wanted to go all out the first 200, 300, and, you know, I mean, I was going all out. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was. But, you know, you got to have a little something to finish with. You I mean, you just got to shut it out in that hand and get in front of him. So that was the goal, and I had a pretty good lead by the end of it. Well, Jake, congratulations. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you down at State. Thank you. Let's move on now to Tyler Reboff, who ran the third leg here today. And Tyler, you had a comfortable lead for the most part when you got the baton. How tough is it to kind of mentally push yourself to run as hard as you can for 400 meters when at the time there's nobody really kind of pushing you? Yeah, it's definitely a lot harder to run when you know there's nobody in front of you that you got to push to get to. And really, you got to listen to the people on the inside of the track. They're listening. If you hear someone from an opposing team yelling, go, you're closer, you're closer, you know you got to pick it up, and that's what you go off of. What's your strategy then in the 400? I think just what these guys said, just go till you feel like there's nothing left in the tank, you got to put it all out there for 400. Where did you feel like you ran your best? Uh, the first 300, probably 70, I'd say. The last 30 meters, I'd say I tightened up a little bit. How was the handoff with Mitchell? Uh... Well, I really tighten up at the end, and he takes off a little early every time, but it, it works out. How do you catch him then? Just use the little bit that's left, whatever's left. How do you get yourself prepared then for state next week? Uh, just keep doing what we're doing, working hard in practice, and just know that we gotta we can compete with anyone out there and just run your best times. Well, Tyler, appreciate you joining us. Congratulations. Great job tonight. Let's move on to the guy that ran the anchor leg here tonight, Mitchell Nelson. Mitchell, congratulations. Another event down at State. Uh, how's this one feel? This one's great. 
coming in. Uh, it's uh, I guess I don't want to complain, but the 400 hurdles and the 4 by 4 is a little. But I just, I always knew I, I, I love having a lead after these three guys go. They're, they're great 400 runners, so I just, I just got to keep the lead. It's usually all I got to worry about, so that's really nice. What do you think about as you're watching these guys run and kind of get yourself prepared, or do you really think about much? Yeah, I, I watch them a little bit. I just, I try to focus on my leg no matter where I get the baton and just, uh, just focus on running until you die, I guess, like they all said. You just, <laughs> You got to burn it, everything everything you got on the 400. I was going to say, I ask you the same question in the shuttle hurdle, but it's a little different in a 400 because sometimes you get those great 400 runners that can make up a gap. Yeah. You had a pretty good lead coming into tonight. Did you feel like there was anybody that could maybe push you there at the end? Yeah, I'm always I'm always nervous of that because I know I'm not the best 400 runner and there's going to be some great anchors out there. So I always just, you know, if he... If he does catch up to me a little bit, I just try to run with him. So then maybe I just keep their pace a little bit and then see what I got left towards the end if maybe I can get them anyway, even if they're a little better than me. How much did you have left at the end tonight? I didn't have a whole lot because I just I was really worried somebody was going to come up on me because, like I said, I'm not the best foreign runner, so I'm always, I come around that last hundred and I just, I use everything. I just... I, I kill it. Well, I tell you what, Mitch, congratulations. Uh, best luck down at State. We'll see you there. Go celebrate with your teammates. Thanks.